vital signs of grief. The vital sign I'll be checking first is pulse. The normal pulse range for a horse is 30 to 40 beats per minute, and the normal pulse range for a horse after moderate exercise is 180 to 240 beats per minute. So to check the pulse of your horse, there's several ways. The way I'm going to show, you stand on the left side of your horse, and underneath the jawbone, there is a vein about the size of a pencil, and you press down with your two fingers, not your thumb, because it has a pulse also, and hold it there for 15 seconds. So I'll get a timer and do it. And you just count how many times you feel it. That was 15 seconds. So, after, so it, I felt the pulse eight times. So after that, you just multiply it by four. So eight times four is 32. So Spree's heart pulse rate pulse rate is 32 beats per minute, which is normal. The respiration rate for an adult horse at rest is eight to 15 breaths per minute. So to take the respiration, you stand behind the horse and you just watch how many times the belly or chest expands and gets smaller for a minute. If you're having difficulties check seeing the chest if, like rise and fall, you can also look to see when the nostrils get smaller or bigger. So you just have to watch this for a minute and count. Make sure not to count the rise and fall of the chest as two. Breath only one. To check a horse's hydration level, you do something called a pinch test. So this is where you pinch the skin and let go. If the horse is hydrated, it should snap back in a second or less. And if it's not, it'll take two to three seconds. The longer it takes for the skin to snap back um, is how more dehydrated they are. If I do it on spree, I just grab a chunk of skin and let go and it snapped back right away, meaning spree is hydrated and horses should drink up to five gallons of water a day. To check a horse's blood circulation, you do something called a capillary refill test. This is where you press your finger on their gums and it should turn back to a normal color in one to two seconds. If it, does, if it stays white, it means that they could have shock. So you just lift up the gums, if free you'll cooperate, press down, and then just watch it, and it went back to the normal pink color right away. A horse's temperature should be between 99 to 101 Fahrenheit. To, I won't be taking the temperature because I have a mercury thermometer thermometer and it's made of glass. It's cold in this building so it could easily break inside of the horse. But this is what our thermometer looks like. When you are doing it, you want to attach a string to the, to the end of the thermometer so it doesn't get lost in the horse. So to make sure never to stand behind your horse when you're doing this because the um, thermometer going in could scare them and they could kick out at you. So you want to move the tail out of the way and you would stick the thermometer in at a slightly, an angle pointed slightly down and hold it in there, the mercury thermometer for three minutes and take it out and check it right away. With a digital thermometer, you would only have to hold it in there for one minute.